All right, to Arizona right now, where police just busted up a massive food stamp fraud ring. This was weird. Police officers seizing more than half a million dollars and arresting these three guys. Tom Horn is Arizona's attorney general. Tell me what was this, this is all about, attorney. Well, uh, there are certain convenience stores, and it's known on the street which ones where you can go with your food stamp card, um, get some cash. They get most of the value. Uh, the, the customer uses the cash for uh, alcohol, drugs, whatever, and the, the store, in effect, steals the value of the food stamp. It's done in two ways. One way is a small purchase, say a bag of potato chips, treated as though it were a very large pur purchase, and then they'll give, they'll give the customer some cash in addition to the potato chips, or they'll just give them their card. Uh, the, let's say there's $300 on the card, they'll give them $100. Then they have $200 on the card, and they'll keep ringing up as though they're sales during the day, and they'll end up with that $200. Um, and they ended up, they had uh, $550,000 of cash in a safe deposit box. Oh, my gosh. Another, um, uh, you know, another $80,000 of cash. It was, uh, and then some cars. It was a total of about $700,000 uh, that, that was seized. You know, Attorney General, what worries me is I now know that we, food stamps are, are the highest level they've ever been, 40 some odd million receive them, 100 million Americans get some sort of food assistance. So if this is happening in your neck of the woods, I mean, I would imagine the potential is right for this happening in a lot of places. That kind of scares me. It happens quite a bit, Neil, actually. This is our, we've, we've had five busts this year alone of this type, although this is by far the largest we've ever had. Uh, we have had five busts in, in convenience stores of this type. You know, um, it's a tempting target because there's so many of these things being handed out, but apparently it's very easily done. Um, now, you were on top of this, started to crack down on this, but it's sort of like whack-a-mole. I mean, every time you get one bad group doing it, there's another bad group doing it. it what is it about? I mean, is it because it's so easy? Because there are ways to, 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 to get around authorities? What? Well, you know, there's some people who, who get food stamps who would rather not get food but get alcohol or drugs, and so... Uh, the, 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 some convenience stores become known that they're willing to do this kind of thing. Um, and so they go to those stores and they, uh, and they trade most of the value on their card for cash. And, uh, and then they go out and buy their drugs or their alcohol. Um, th this investigation went on about a year. We've been working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, with local law enforcement, in this case the Phoenix Police Department, and other partners. Uh, one of the things that's done is to, to look at the volume of business. You may find a certain convenience store has a great volume of food stamp business, ten times what uh, what another similar store might have, and then you know, then you know it's likely a fraud is going on, and then you send in under, undercover officers to make the case. I always worry about the convenience store part of it, where it tries to legitimize this behavior or appears to be legitimate, and then that gets me thinking about other so-called legitimate establishments or those that appear that way that could be pulling crime after crime. Yeah, the, conven the convenience stores that are willing to do this are the ones that are the, real, the, the, the really major criminals, although we've also arrested 22 of the customers who do it, but wow. uh, the convenience stores, and we, we, in, in this case, we've got three people, uh, father and two sons, uh, we we're hitting them with a lot of felonies that they've been charged with, um, and uh, we're trying to make examples to try to let people know they can't be doing this because they're gonna end up in prison. Well, good for you, uh, Attorney General. I mean, we don't see a lot of that going on. We see a lot of abuses in government, but rarely do we see people trying to stop it. Um, thank you yeah, very much. We're, we're, we're determined to crack down. Thanks, Neil. Good for you. Tom Horn, he is the Attorney General of the Fine State of Arizona. All right. Well, he